Got the Metamar logo right there in the window. Sweet thing, Chip. I don't know. You do it outside facing the door? Um, we can just do it here. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do it here. They'll, they'll believe me that it's at the Metamar office. Okay. So your name's Aaron, and you're a volunteer here at Metamar? Yes, yes. And uh, you work as a spokesperson, and you're also a, uh, a patient? Yes, yeah, I'm a patient. I, I have a recommendation from a physician to legally use uh, marijuana for a number of uh, different uh, conditions, mainly bipolar disorder, uh, depression, anxiety, insomnia, uh, just, just overall mood. Mm-hmm. And and how uh, how does it help you? What, how does it alleviate your symptoms? Using uh, well, there, there's a couple different ways I could speak of it medically, and then I could speak of it just like you know in layman's terms. In layman's terms, uh, it allows me to feel comfortable in my own skin. Uh, it allows me to uh, it slows down the racing thoughts that are often associated with bipolar disorder, and um, allows me to focus on uh, on the task at hand, and be productive in, uh, in society. Um, without it, uh, I uh, cannot tolerate the psychotropic medications that my psychiatrist gives me. What were they? Uh, 900 milligrams of lithium, uh, 2.5 milligrams of Zyprexa, uh, 100 milligrams of Trazodone, 100 milligrams of Zoloft, and 600 milligrams of Neurontin every single day. Uh, so... so uh, lithium would be for what they used to call manic depressive, which I guess now is called bipolar. Yes. And isn't that what Kurt Cobain suffered from? Yes. Yeah, this, he wrote a song about it, actually. It's that's on, for lithium. Uh, it's an album called Lithium. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jimi Hendrix also was manic depressive. Um, Virginia Woolf. Uh, yeah. Ben Stiller. Um, really? Yeah. Ben Stiller. Yeah. He's great. Yeah. So uh, was it difficult to get a... Uh, physician, a licensed physician, to sign off on that, or uh, give you a prescription, or did you have to look around, or was I it easy? Basically, for you? what it came down to was uh, I heard from a friend that uh, was sick that that he had a uh, a note from a doctor to use marijuana. I didn't believe it. I thought it was a joke. I, I didn't realize what was going on. This was years and years and years ago. And uh, ultimately, I went in to see the doctor. When I came in, I brought all those medications, and. Uh, I showed him the, the psoriasis that comes in as a result, as a side effect of the lithium and how it destroys my, uh, my skin and eats away at my skin. And I, I told him that if I take something that does that, I, I really want to get better. It's obvious that I'm willing to tolerate side effects. So. Let me change uh, batteries real quick. Cool. Yeah, this one's about to... So, um, Aaron, are you a, a lifeguard also? I noticed you're wearing a lifeguard uh, sweater. No, I, so I'm not. I was a uh, licensed lifeguard back in 2001. I worked for the YMCA. Um, that was the cool. last summer I was manic. I was uh, close to being uh, floridly psychotic running a 250-person camp, YMCA camp, of uh, 13- to 16-year-old kids. Oh, so. man, well, that can make you go psychotic just on your own, even if yeah. you're not <laughs> yeah. uh, bipolar. But uh, were you were you having a full-on breakdown at the time? Were you almost... Uh, I was teetering on it, and, uh, you know, I, uh, luckily I was in an environment where you're paid to act goofy, and I just figured I was just really naturally, you know, likable and, and uh, you know, talked a lot and was gregarious. And, um, you know, the most important thing for bipolars to recognize is that cannabis is not the cure. It allows you to, to look at your life and work through your problems in uh, feeling comfortable in your own skin, having the ability to process things logically, and not so much being whipped around by your mood disorder. Hmm. So um, I, I will say that uh, in a perfect world, there would be cannabis in every uh, psych ward. Uh, I've personally seen it, uh, for me and for others, uh, prevent people from putting a gun in their mouth and pulling the trigger. Hmm. They smoke and they don't want to do that. And, and doctors uh, typically would much rather give a person a prescription for a, an expensive uh, pharmaceutical eight, eight out of ten, maybe nine out of ten physicians would say that I am uh, uh, not doing the right thing. Uh, they would encourage me to not smoke herb. Uh, there is a widespread ignorance. Uh, it's a little frustrating to have more knowledge about a... Uh, healing agent than somebody who's been through medical school, but that's just the way it is. It's just a plain, you know, truth. Is there, is there a financial motive you have that they, they have? Uh, I believe there is. I believe that the DEA is a, a group of hired thugs uh, to enforce the uh, laws for the uh, pharmaceutical companies. Uh, essentially what their message is, 
is don't do that uh, dope, do our dope. Uh, we, we have this block covered as in the United States is our block or the world. So we would rather you uh, take medications that uh, you'll be on the rest of your life, which destroy your liver and your kidneys, uh, than uh, allow you to, to do something. Uh... And they also cost a lot more. Yes, yes. So we were uh, starting to talk about uh, before when you uh, w when I had to put a couple of uh, double A's in the video camera about whether or not it was difficult for you to get a prescription. Was it hard to find a doctor to... Yes. Uh, give you a prescription? Yes, it was. Just had to go out and seek out. I had to get on Google, and I had to t take the action uh, to be proactive to uh, to find one. And it, it basically came down to how how much uh, was I going to suffer before I I finally did it. Can you uh, can you mention the doctor's name? Yeah, Doctor Sterner was my first physician. Doctor Sterner. Doctor Robert Sterner. Yes. Is he here in San Diego? Yes, he is. Yes. And and he is uh, supportive of. Medical marijuana yes, patients. Yes, yeah, he did his undergrad at Harvard. He's a UCLA medical school graduate, and uh, yeah, he's kind of a kooky feller. But uh, he has done right for thousands of people. Um, you know, I firsthand see 